That's not it. That's my magic wand, which we're going to need for this next trick. And what we're going to have is, I have in here is some little cups. And these little cups are very magical cups. Well, they're not magical, they're just sentimental to me. They're kind of like that cup. Well, what it was was a friend of mine, he had a, a kidney transplant. He had a kidney, a kidney transplant. And luckily, he, could, he couldn't do it. And his brother actually finally came along and gave him a kidney. So it's kind of cool. So he gave me these three cups. And all these three cups are just the same. All three cups are exactly the same. Right. Well, especially this one. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to fool you in any way. Like, you know, the, the cups are actually solid cups. There's no trickery or anything involved with it. They're just perfectly solid cups. They, and they're, you know, but, you know, the funny thing about it is, is the way the magic works. If I were to tap my hand, what we need, well, two things happen when I tap my hand. One, a little blues hand appears under my hand because I've been doing this trick for so long. And two, a little, like, like snowball kind of thing that like, happens. It's kind of neat looking. It kind of looks like a little snowball because it, and it, just, because it kind of rests on top of the cup. It's kind of cool. For the next one, what I need is another one. So all I have to do is spin the wand, which is kind of cool. All I got to do is spin the wand. I have a one, two, three, and tap. And the ball just seems to magically just appear there. Something there. Kind of cool like that. The ball kind of comes up and kind of rests a bit. Now, there's a few things you can do with cups and balls. I'm going to show you one of watch. Like, I can take the ball and I can actually go like this and penetrate it through the cup, which is kind of like right through the cup until it's something kind of like that. Cool. Now, it works something there like this. So it kind of works. There like that, where the ball actually sits up there like that. Now for the next one, all I have to do is spin the wand the same way like I did before. All it takes is one, two, three, tap. See, sometimes the magic doesn't work up here. Sometimes it works all by itself. One, two, three, something there just like that. And sometimes it works kind of cool. Now for the first one, all we have to do is we take the wand, we pass the wand through the hand, give it a tap, and the ball vanishes. Something there kind of cool like that. <laughs> All I have to do is I put the wand up here, all I have to do is give the ball a spin, like this, give it a tap, and the ball vanishes just like that. The first two is something there, just like that. But the last one works exactly the same way. The last one works exactly, all I have to do is just tap it, and you're actually going to get to see it go with this one. All I have to do is give it a tap, and the ball vanishes. That's one ball there, one ball there, one ball there. I'm ready to start the tricks on the But I want to make this simple. I want to make it very easy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually, well, let's get rid of one of the balls. I'll put the ball, get rid of the ball back here. And matter of fact, I'm not only going to get rid of one of the balls, I'm going to get rid of one of the cups. So then I'm going to get rid of one of the balls, one of the cups, and I'll even get rid of the wand. We'll get rid of the wand, so we'll place it off to the side. So we have two balls, two cups, something cool just like this. Here's what we'll do. We'll place a cup there, a cup there. We'll put a ball under each of its respective cups, something there like this. All I have to do is snap my fingers. And the ball jumps from this one over here to this one right there. Whoa. But like I said, I want to make it easy. I want to make it kind of cool. So what I do is I get rid of another one of the balls. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of another one of the cups because we don't need the cup or the ball. We get rid of the cup. And of course, now we're going to use one ball, one cup. Let's do it here like this. There, just like that. There you go. What's the roll around like? Okay, so now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ball here like this, and I'm going to give it a blow. It's a joke. It's a joke. And all I have to do is give the ball a blow. The ball will vanish and end up in the cup. Ooh, Watch, it's kind of cool. Watch, all I have to do is take the ball, I go like this, the ball vanishes and ends up under the cup. Yeah, Watch. If I take the ball and I put it back into my pocket, see, the ball ends up underneath the cup. Watch. If I take it and I put it back here like this, see, the ball ends up underneath the cup. No matter how I do it, the ball, if I, if I put it back there, the ball ends up under the cup. Because it's a trick. That's what it kind of ends up, ends up like this. See, it's kind of like, you know. But here's what I want to do. I want to introduce this, like, the, uh, the, you know, the three shells of the peak. You know, right? The ball there. Would you guys be amazed if I can make that ball end up underneath any cup you need? Probably not this one. I can tell by about now it doesn't make any difference. I know it's kind of scary and kind of unbelievable. But I'm going to watch. If I take the ball and I give my snap my fingers like I've been doing all night long, snap the fingers. Snap the fingers. Because you know what? During 
district, you never know what will turn up. What will turn up. Thank you very much. What will turn up. What will turn up. See, because over there is a turn up. Over here is a lemon. Over here is a lime. And because you've been such a great audience, this is fun. It's for you. Just like that.